in the last class we talked about work done by constant force and we solved a few questions also based on that now let us solve further question so this is a pulley and two masses of one is 3 kg one of 2 kg are connected by a string which is massless question says find work done by tension find work done by tension on 3 kg and 2 kg block in 2 seconds after being released after being released okay everyone please pay attention please pay attention in this question cg will be acting downward tension will be acting upward 2g will be acting downward tension will be acting upward 
and when you are going to solve a comes out to be i'm directly writing m1 minus m2 into g upon m1 plus m2 and that gives 2 meters per second square tension comes out to be 2 m1 m2 g upon m1 plus m2 and that comes out to be 24 newton all right now using this acceleration displacement s a is equal to s b is equal to half a t square because u is 0 and that comes out to be half into 2 into 2 square and that is 4 meters now for a let me call this as a let me call this as b so for a f is 24 newton s is 4 meter and what you can see is that displacement of a will be downward and displacement of b will be upward so if displacement of b is downward angle theta is 180 degree so w on a is equal to f s cos 180 and that comes out to be minus 96 joule okay similarly for b f is equal to 24 newton s is equal to 4 meter theta is equal to 0 degree so w b is equal to f s cos 0 and that comes out to be 96 joule that comes out to be 96 joule all right so that is how the answers will be that is how the answers will be ipq ipq in the previous question find work done by tension on pulley find work done by tension on pulley please find find work done by tension on pulley <clears throat> correct so in this what is happening tension is there but the pulley is not displacing so as displacement of pulley is zero work done is equal to zero work done is equal to zero all right good next question <clears throat>
so this is tension question is in the given situation in the given situation find work done in 5 seconds by number 1 f number 2 tension and number 3 friction okay and mu is 0.2 for both the objects you can call it a you can call it b so how much is work done by friction how much is work done by tension and how much is work done by f and uh, you can calculate it only for a for object a okay so because if you can solve it for a you can solve it for b as well suhas is asking sir what if work done by gravity was asked in previous question you can, you can simply calculate someone's mic is unmuted please mute it mgh would have been the work done by gravity okay if the object is coming down it will be plus mgh if the object is going up it will be minus mgh okay but the answer is mgh mgh understood suhas okay you all when you solve question you have to post answers okay
Vedant, you have mentioned six two five zero. This is work done by which force? All right. Okay, everyone. Enough time given. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. Ten G will be acting downward. N will be acting upward, or you can call it N A. This is ten G acting downward. N B acting upward. Tension will be T. Tension will be T. Friction will be F. friction will be f you can call it f1 f2 okay so na minus 10g is equal to 0 na comes out to be 10g so f1 and same will be the value of f2 and that will be mu n and that will be 0.2 Into hundred, that comes out to be twenty newton. <coughs> so, how much will be the acceleration of blocks? So, acceleration of blocks. So, A A is equal to A B is equal to F minus two F, or you can say F one minus F two upon Total mass, which is ten plus ten, so F is hundred minus twenty twenty, so that becomes forty upon twenty. So acceleration comes out to be sixty upon twenty is three meters per second square. So that is the value of acceleration. this will help us in finding displacement this will help us in finding displacement so sa is equal to sb is equal to half into a which is 3 into t square t is 5 seconds 5 square 5 square 5 square is 25 25 into 3 is 75 75 by 2 is 37.5 or let me write it as 75 by 2 meters okay so for f for f so force is equal to 100 newton displacement is equal to 75 by 2 meters theta is equal to 0 degree theta is equal to 0 degree so wf will be fs cos theta so 100 into 75 by 2 into cos 0 So that will be seventy five hundred by two, then that will be three seven five zero joule. That is work done by F force. That is work done by F force. Now work done by friction. 
work done by friction so on a i'm talking about one block so w will be f into s into cos theta so friction value is how much 20 so 20 into displacement is how much 75 by 2 and how what is the angle between these two angle is 180 so cos of 180 so that will be that will be minus 750 joule but be very clear this is on one block so total work done by friction total work done by friction so w total f friction so there are two blocks so minus 750 plus minus 750 and that becomes minus 1500 joule minus 1500 joule because there are two objects there are two objects but question is saying only for a no okay we have calculated this extra let it be now let us talk about tension let us talk about tension so for that we have to first find out tension pay attention everyone <coughs> pay attention 100 newton is acting towards right friction f1 is equal to 20 is acting towards left and tension t is acting towards left so for a 100 minus 20 minus t is equal to 10 a a is 3 we know that so 80 100 minus 20 is 80 minus t is equal to 10 into 3 so t comes out to be 80 minus 30 and that is 50 newton that is 50 newton so tension comes out to be 50 newton tension comes out to be 50 newton <clears throat> all right so if t is 50 how much will be the work done so w t is equal to fs cos theta fs cos theta f is 50 s is 75 by 2 cos theta if you see displacement and tension are in opposite direction cos 180 so that comes out to be 25 into 75 with a minus sign how much is that 25 into 75 25 into 75 is how much so it will be minus 1875 joule <clears throat> so these are the answers now if you notice i gave you this question so that you can become familiar you can become familiar with multiple things simultaneously using this question you found normal reaction using this question you found tension using this question you found friction using this question you found work done by each one right so when multiple things are there how to fetch information how to get different data this we learned from this question if i ask you how much is work done by normal reaction can you tell me work done by normal reaction in previous question can you tell me how much is work done by normal reaction in previous question zero correct why it is zero it is zero because normal reaction is upward and displacement is towards right displacement is towards right okay because of that 
everyone just a second Yes, have you noted this everyone? Good. Good. Next question. <coughs> mm. Let it be like this. This is 53 degree. This is block. Mass of the block is 5 kg. Mu is 0 0.5. And the height is 10 meters. <coughs> If block slides down the inclined plane, if block slides down the inclined plane, find work done by number one gravity number two friction number three <coughs> gravity friction and number three is normal reaction please find Please find. I want an answer from all of you, each one of you. Quickly solve and give me the answer. <coughs>
मास ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज फाइव के जी इट इज नॉट फिफ्टी वन वाई वुड एनी वन गिव फिफ्टी वन एज मास इट इज फाइव के जी when you ask such questions it sends a wrong sandesh correct aise prashnon ke baad galat sandesh aata hai the answer which you are giving after taking so much of time i would have given directly because 5 kg is the mass if it is falling down that means reaching at the bottom went in the direction of gravity 10 meter so how much will be the work work done by gravity is equal to force which is 5g into displacement along force which is 10 so 5 into 10 into 10 and that comes out to be 500 joule now before we talk about friction <coughs> excuse me let me talk about normal reaction see normal reaction will be acting like this and displacement will be perpendicular so angle between normal reaction and displacement is always 90 degree so work done by normal reaction how much is the value whatever is the value n into s into cos 90 and that will be zero wn is equal to zero all right now the only thing which is left to be calculated is work done by friction jared is saying that it is same as 500 but with a minus sign but some people are not agreeing with that so let me find out this angle will be 53 degree If this is 53, this will be 5g cos 53. So n minus 5g cos 53 is equal to zero. N minus 5g cos 53 is equal to zero. So n comes out to be 5g cos 53, and that will be 5 into 10 into cos 53 is 3 by 5, and that is 30 newton. but that is n so how much will be f obviously friction here will be fk because object is sliding so fk will be mu k n so 1 by 2 into 30 and that is 15 newton that is 15 newton all right so that is friction that is friction so now i am going to write here work done by friction and how much that will be how much that will be so listen very carefully suppose s is your displacement your displacement is s 
सो एस कॉस थर्टी सेवन इज टेन सो डब्ल्यू विल बी एफ के इंटू एस इंटू कॉस वन एटी वाई बिकॉज फ्रिक्शन विल बी अप अलॉन्ग द इंक्लाइन और राइट एफ के वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इट इज फिफ्टीन cos 180 minus sign introduced how much is the value of s listen carefully everyone s cos 37 is equal to 10 right so s into 4 by 5 is equal to 10 so s comes out to be 50 by 4 that means 25 by 2 <coughs> So 15 into 25 by 2. How much is that? How much is that? So that comes out to be minus 187.5 joule. This is the answer. This is the answer. Jared noted. Have you noted this, Jared? <coughs> Correctly. Have you noted? Okay. Okay. Good. Second one means friction. You are saying. okay pay attention see work done by any force is force into displacement into cos theta where theta is angle between force and displacement you know very well that inclined why because friction always acts parallel to the surface and in a direction such that it can fully oppose the motion so if the block is sliding downward along the incline friction will be acting upward along the incline is that clear okay how much is the value of friction so that value of friction of fk will be mu n mu is 0.5 and n came out to be 30 which is 5g cos 53 so fk came out to be 15 newton so if fk is 15 displacement is 25 by 2 and theta is 180 so work done by friction is equal to minus because it is cos 180 into 15 into 25 by 2 and that came out to be minus 187.5 understood now <coughs> if you want i can zoom out this whole thing okay okay yes or no all right let us move further <coughs> see displacement of object is along the surface and that value is s correct komal okay now we have been given that height of inclined plane is 10 how much that height of inclined plane is it is s cos 37 so s cos 37 is equal to 10 so s into cos 37 is 4 by 5 that is equal to 10 so s came out to be 25 by 2 understood now
all of it next question this is a block mass is 20 kg f is 100 newton surface is smooth okay there are two persons one person is a and he is at rest another person is b and b is moving with 2 meters per second b can accelerate also in fact if you want i can make b accelerate also but let it be 2 meter per second question says find work done by f on block in 5 seconds number 1 with respect to a with respect to b that is what you need to find please find
okay everyone please pay attention in this question there is no point of finding normal reaction because it has no role because we don't even need to find friction so let us find simply acceleration of block acceleration of block and a will be 100 upon 20 and that is 5 meters per second square so if acceleration of this is this then displacement of block in 5 second so s block is equal to half into a into t square so that comes out to be how much is this 25 into 5 is 125 divided by 2 is 62.5 meter 62.5 meter all right so now with respect to a comes into picture with respect to a a is at rest so whatever is normally work done will be the work done for by the force so w with respect to a is equal to f into s into cos 0 f is 100 into 62.5 into 1 so that comes out to be 6250 joule that comes out to be 6250 joule okay okay now with respect to b listen carefully in this duration b is moving with 2 meter per second so displacement of b displacement of b in 5 seconds so s b will be 2 into 5 is equal to 10 meters hence displacement of block hence displacement of block with respect to b and that will be s i am writing it as s so 62.5 minus 10 and that comes out to be 52.5 meter because with respect to b block has shifted only 52.5 meter mind it so work done with respect to p work done with respect to b so wb is equal to f is 100 into 52.5 into 1 because of cos 0 so that comes out to be 5 to 50 joule so answer will be 6250 and 5250 understood everyone understood everyone vedant asmita adric kimaya gauri okay okay now let me do one thing let me add one more person c okay and c is going with 2 meters per second square find work done with respect to c as well please find please find find work done with respect to c also please do that
Everyone, please pay attention. First of all, how much will be displacement of C? So displacement of C of C in five seconds. So S C is equal to half into two into five square. And that comes out to be 25 meter. OK. 25 meter. This hence. Displacement of block. Displacement of block. With respect to. C. So that will be S. I'm calling it S only earlier. The value was 62.5, right? Yes. So 62.5 minus 25. <coughs> How much is that? 37.5. So that will be 37.5 meters. Hence work done. So work done with respect to C will be 100 into 37.5 into one. <coughs> so that is three seven five zero Joule. That is three seven five zero Joule. Clear. So what is the key learning from this question? Key learning. So work done by a force depends on frame of reference. Work done by a force depends on frame of reference. Frame of reference. Work done by a force depends on frame of reference so basically from which frame you are observing that will affect the work done that will change the value you can see for three persons a b and c work done appears to be different and it is basically three values right so this is to be noted and this is to be understood Trusty is saying, sir, can we find the relative velocity and then find S directly? I would suggest uh, don't do that because in this question, what is happening? You are working with acceleration. You are working with displacement. You are working with velocity. So uh, you might get confused sometimes. OK, what basic we kept our things entirely basic in this. What we did number one, how much is the value of F that remains same 100. Now for each person A, B and C, how much the block has appeared to be moving. So for first case it was 62.5, for second case it was 52.5, for third case it is 37.5. We calculated that and we simply found the answer after that. If you can handle that, I am OK with it. If not, stick to basics. OK, stick to basics. Now there is a very much possibility that in your exam they simply ask this statement. OK, they might not give you this question, but you should understand that work done by a force depends on frame of reference. All right. OK, and you should not get confused if a question is asked based on this. Clear? Uh, Kimaya, don't uh, solve by relative acceleration concept because in that case you might change the value of F. Okay. I 
who suggests you to go to the relative acceleration concept. Because in uh, second case, one object was going with meter per second and another was going with meter per second square. Now apply relative acceleration concept. How you are going to apply? Okay. If you want to apply relative acceleration concept, Kimaya, try to apply that. Okay, you will get uh, your answer. Let us move further. Hmm. Work done by variable force. Work done by variable force. Okay, so this all we did when force was remaining constant. But if force is variable, if force is variable, then what to do? Okay, so, so let us see how to calculate work done by variable force. So please write if force is variable. If force is variable, we can calculate work done by it. As now in that case, pay attention what we are doing. We are finding work done in very small interval of time. So dW will be F into dx. OK, even if the force is variable for that very small interval of time, we can consider it as constant and that value is F. Now in that very small interval of time, displacement is dx. Work done in that interval will be very small and that will be dW. So dW is F dx. So how much will be the total? It will be a combination of many such dw so w will be integration dw is equal to integration f dx your displacement can vary from x a to x b all right your displacement can vary from x a to x b okay it is exactly the same way when you are preparing for the competition how your preparation is done? Your preparation is done basically each day. So how much you have learned today is actually very small. It is actually very small. We can call, call it DP, small preparation. Okay. Next day, you are also doing small preparation. Next day, you are also doing small preparation. But when we integrate it for entire session, what do you get is capital P preparation. OK, and that leads to your selection. OK, or rank or very good score. So it is important to do small, small preparation every day. OK, otherwise when you are going to do the integration for that particular day, DP comes out to be zero. For that particular day, because you are going to integrate it from, let's say, today's date to the exam date. So those days when you are not studying, the value of DP comes out to be zero for those days. So it is not going to contribute in your result. Understood? That's why it is important to study regularly, consistently and daily. And how to study, how to prepare by solving questions. OK, because why we are solving questions because in exam in your competition, they are not going to ask you to write an essay. They are going to give you questions and you need to solve those questions within the given amount of time. So your preparation should be oriented in such a way that you should be able to solve large number of questions in small interval of time. OK, let us get back to the topic So W work done by variable force is equal to integration dw where displacement is varying from a to b x a to x b so that is integration of 
f dx. Here f is variable force. Here f is variable force. Question. Of course, f is equal to 10x x on the object. Find work done. Find work done by the force during X is equal to zero to X is equal to four meters. Please find. You should be able to get the answer instantly. It's an easy question. Suhas is saying, sir, can't see the question. Suhas, F is equal to 10x, please note. F is equal to 10x and you need to find the work done between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. You need to find the work done between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. Okay. Asmita saying, ATJ Rakhi says, ATJ. All are saying ATJ. Okay. Pay attention. So W is equal to integration F dx. W is equal to integration F dx. F is 10x dx integration from 0 to 4. All right. So 10 can be taken out because it is constant. Integration x dx is x square by 2 and limit is from 0 to 4. So that becomes 5. 10 by 2 becomes 5. Now x square means 4 square minus 0 square. So 16 into 5 becomes 80. So answer is 80 June. Okay, next question. Force acting on the object is F is equal to 10x is no not 10x square. Uh, 3x square plus 2x plus 5 newton. Find work done. Find work done during. It is during. Find work done during. X is equal to zero to X is equal to uh, three meters. Please find.
people are saying 51 june all right all right so w is equal to integration f dx is equal to integration 3x square plus 2x plus 5 dx and limits from 0 to 3 limit is from 0 to 3 so w equal to integration 3x square dx plus integration 2x dx plus integration 5 dx and limit is on 3, 0 to 3, 0 to 3. That comes out to be x cubed because 3 by 3 cancelled, 0 to 3. Plus x square because 2 to got cancelled, 0 to 3. Plus 5x, 0 to 3. And that comes out to be 3 cube is 27. Minus 0 will be 0. Plus uh, 9, plus 15. How much that comes out to be? 51 Joule. So answer comes out to be 51 Joule. All right. <clears throat> All right. Next question. All of you have noted this. Good. Please note so that I can give you the next question. question for an object of, of mass 5 kg for an object of mass 5 kg velocity is given as velocity is given as v is equal to t square find work done find work done by the force during x t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 2 seconds please solve
People are saying 20 Joule. How you are getting 20 Joule? Hmm. Yes, Gauri, 53.3 Joule. Suhas, very nice. 163 by 3. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, everyone, please pay attention. We are going to solve this question by two ways. One is the way which we have learned. So W is equal to integration F dx. Okay. And uh, F will be how much? So F will be, let me call this as equation one. F will be M A. M is given as five. A will be DV by DT. And that comes out to be five into two T and that will be 10 T because DV by DT will be two T, right? So F comes out to be 10 T. Let all this as equation two. Now, V is nothing but dx upon dt and that given as t square. So, from here, dx comes out to be t square dt and let me call this as equation 3. So, from 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. So, W will be integration f is 10 t into dx is t square dt and limit is from 0 to 2 limit is from 0 to 2 so 10 is taken out integration t cube dt and limit is from 0 to 2 that gives us 10 Integration t cube dt will be t to the power 4 by 4 and limit is from 0 to 2. So from here it becomes uh, 5 by 2 and 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 means 16. 16 by 2 is 8. 8 into 5 is 40 joule. That is the answer. That is the answer. Tell me if I have made some mistake somewhere. If I have made some mistake anywhere, please do let me know. Please do let me know. Otherwise, this is coming out to be the answer. As per the calculations done. As per the calculations done, this is coming out to be the answer. Hmm. Are you getting it, everyone? Are you getting it? So you guys were getting two sets of answers. One was 20 and one was 160 by 3. But and bulk of people, group of people were getting the same answers. That is quite strange. That is quite strange. People are making same mistakes sitting at different places across the continents and making same mistake. Correct. Good. 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 Now, as I told you that this question can be solved by two methods. So this was method one. This was method one. What can be the second method? So for that, I am going to solve it here. And there is a thing called work energy theorem. You all are in proper batch, so you know what is work energy theorem. 
दैट से डब्ल्यू ऑल इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा के वर्क डन बाय ऑल द फोर्सेज इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज ओनली वन फोर्स विच इज नॉट गिवन एक्चुअली बट we can find its work done by delta k what is delta k that is ke final minus ke initial initial velocity is given as zero so ke initial will be zero so w all that means the work done w all can be calculated by simply finding ke so that will be half into m m was given as 5 i guess into v square m was 5 yes v will be t square so v is t square and whole square okay now you need to put t is equal to 4 so half into 5 into 4 square answer will be 40 joule by this method also understood so w all is equal to delta k w all is equal to delta k understood everyone which method is better Which method is better? Obviously, you will say second one. Correct. But you should know both methods. You should know. All right. All right. All right. you are trained for any kind of situation so you should know both let me give you a similar question for your extra practice for your extra practice question an object of mass 4 kg has velocity v is equal to t cube v is equal to t cube find work done by force find work done by force during 0 to 3 seconds calculate and you need to calculate by both methods i want you to learn both methods so calculate it using both methods
All of you, please solve by both methods. Hmm. So K E initial is equal to zero. K E final will be half. And V final square. So half is half. M is four into V final is T cube square. So that will be half into four into <clears throat> three cube into square. Basically twenty seven into twenty seven. Okay. 27 square is I guess 729. 27 square is how much? So that will be 2 into 729. So that becomes one four five eight joule. Okay. So this is one method. Now another method. Let us solve by that also. What is the big deal? To show. So W will be integration f dx. So f will be integration m a d x. Now, how much was v given? V was given as t cube. So a will be three t square. So m is four, a is three t square, and d x will be t cube d t. So t cube d t. All right. So when you solve this further, it becomes four into three is twelve. Integration t to the power five dt and limit is from zero to three. So that will be twelve into t to the power six upon six zero to three. So that becomes two t to the power six zero to three. So that becomes one four five eight joule. <coughs> Tusha, how you are getting seven twenty nine? Samarth, how it is seven twenty nine? So that was twenty seven square, sir. You asked now. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Uh, if possible, to all of you, please remember the square up to thirty. It will be very helpful for your quick calculation in the exam. Okay. Otherwise, suppose if you are supposed to multiply twenty-seven into twenty-seven, it will eat up at least thirty second of your time and chances of calculation mistake also. Okay. So memorize up to thirty. All right. It saves your time in exam. Okay. So okay, everyone. That is enough for today. We will study further in the next class. In the next class, we will be talking about potential energy. And before, yeah, before that, we will be talking about kinetic energy also. So okay.